Hello there. As always, Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior. Today for my eggplant stew, I'm using chicken, I'm using beef, I'm using fish, I'm using ham. So I went ahead and then I seasoned my chicken, meat, ham, fish, and after seasoning it, I put it into the hot oil. Okay. Now I added these things to the oil and then I left it to fry. I'm using a big pot so I'm able to fry everything at one time. If you are using a small pot, go ahead, fry it separately. For me, I love to multi-tax. You call me the multi-tax lady. So now I went ahead, peeled my eggplant, cut my eggplant into circles you see how I cut it I sliced my eggplant very well and then I put it into a big container put it in a big pot a big bowl and put enough water add some salt you know and wash your eggplant it's very important that you wash your eggplant with salt water before you cook your eggplant so make sure you are rubbing that eggplant rub it very well add enough water you see what i'm doing you see how i'm mixing i'm rubbing by doing that you will help to remove some of the seeds from it and then you'll be able to get all that uh, uh, um, brown water out of the eggplant you know that that extra strong taste out of the eggplant and once you wash your eggplant well squeeze it very well and add it to put it in a separate pan and you see that after washing the eggplant you see that the water that comes from the eggplant you see how brown it is you see that so all that strong taste your eggplant won't have any bad taste it will taste just good so now get rid of that water Let's go back and check on our ham, our meat, our chicken and fish. Let's make sure it's fried. So once you can see that it's coming along good. So once it is fried, once everything has fried, you take it out of the pot, put it into a bowl. And then I'm going to use the oil that we used to fry uh, these things I'm going to use that very same oil to fry my eggplant and my vegetables so wash me so I took those things out of the oil because they were fried I removed some of the oil from my saucepan and then I went ahead and added my onions my garlic my hot pepper and my celery mix it very well mix it very well allow it to fry for maybe like uh, four to five minutes and then once it starts to look like it's melting a little bit add your go ahead and add your eggplant oh my god look at how clean and beautiful that eggplant is add your eggplant to your pot mix it very well make sure you are mixing your eggplant and your onions and your pepper and celery and garlic mix it very well together once you mix it well go ahead and add your spices okay i use tomato bola i use that and dash i use seasoning all black pepper and chicken seasoning i put i use all of those spices now once you mix it very well remember to not cut it so that your eggplant can fry now i went ahead cut up my plantain added water and added salt add enough water to cover your plantain and then cover your pot and put it to boil now let's go back you see my eggplant is frying so well look at how beautiful it looks so once your eggplant is fried completely now it's time to add your tomato i'm using diced tomato so i added a large cup of diced tomato and then I mix it very well. If you don't have diced tomato, you can chop up some fresh tomatoes and add it. Or you can use tomato sauce or tomato paste. Whatever you have, you can use it. But I use a large cup of diced tomato. Mix it very well. Once you mix it very well, go ahead. Add your meat that is well fried, your chicken, and your ham to your pot. Do not add your fish. Your fish goes in once your soup is already cooked. So I added the other stuff, but I did not add my fish because 
I don't want my fish to get soft. I don't want my fish to break up. So you see, I put the fish aside. Now mix that juicy season in. Mix that meat and chicken. Everything mix it well in your in your eggplant. Mix it well. Now add a cup of chicken broth or meat broth. I'm using chicken broth because I did not have meat broth so you, chicken broth works very well. Add your chicken broth. Mix it very well. Now it's time to cover your pot. So now you can season. I add a, a little bit more chicken seasoning and then mix it well and then I cover my pot so that the, the broth can steam and cook the food. So now after about 10 minutes it's ready. I mix it very well. I can see that all of that brow is dry. The soup has dried up. It's just the juice that is left. So now it's time to add my fish. Now you can add your fish. Just lay your fish on top of your eggplant. Oh my god, so delicious. So delicious. Just lay your fish on top of your eggplant. Lay it, just lay it. And then once you lay it, gently mix it from under just a little bit. Don't do too much of mixing now and cover your pot well. After about five minutes or so, make sure you're, you are cooking now on low heat, okay? Now it's ready. Everything has simmered. It has simmered and now it's ready to be served. You see how I'm mixing that thing? Now is right now I took my plant and put my plantain on my plate and now I'm adding my delicious eggplant to this. Oh my god. This is so delicious. Look at that eggplant. Look at that chicken. Look at that meat. Wow. So with this eggplant stew, I was able to get two big bowl of eggplant soup from the three large eggplant that I use. I use three large eggplant. I use two big onions. Okay. So I was able to get enough soup where I was able to keep one bowl of soup for myself and give a bowl of soup to my sister and her family. So this soup is so delicious. You can have this soup with plantain. You can have it with rice. You can have it with couscous. You can have it with baked potatoes or boiled potatoes. You can have it with sweet potatoes, Irish potatoes. You can have it with cassava or edo. So this uh, eggplant stew, you can have it with varieties of things. And it tastes good with everything. Believe me, this is just so delicious. A delicious meal. So I hope you enjoy this recipe when you try it. And please have a very blessed day. Bye.